Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this class, I am going to discuss five problems of chapter six of second law of thermodynamics, and uh, these problems are from uh, Pickenax Engineering Thermodynamics book. And uh, the problems are from uh, question numbers 6.6 to 6.10 I am going to discuss today. And uh, in the last class I have uh, discussed uh, questions from uh, number 1 to number 5. Let us get started. You see the question number 6.6 .6 of page number 153 is like this. A heat pump working on the Carnot cycle takes in heat from a, res from a reservoir at 5 degree Celsius and delivers heat to a reservoir at 60 degree Celsius. Heat pump, you know, transfers heat from low temperature to high temperature. Low temperature is at 5 degree Celsius and high temperature reservoir is at 60 degree Celsius. And the heat pump is driven by a reversible heat engine, which takes in heat from a reservoir at 840 degree Celsius and rejects heat to a reservoir at 60 degree Celsius. You know, heat engine transfers heat from high temperature to low temperature. It actually extracts heat from high temperature reservoir and discharges some heat to low temperature reservoir. The reversible heat engine also drives a machine that absorbs 30 kilowatt. You see, a reversible heat engine here drives a reversible heat pump. Both are working on Carnot cycle. And heat engine also drives a machine that absorbs 30 kilowatt. Heat engine, apart from driving the heat pump, also drives a machine that requires 30 kilowatt. If the heat pump extracts 17 kilojoule per second from 5 degree Celsius reservoir, determine first bit the rate of heat supply from the 840 degree Celsius source and uh, next is the rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree Celsius sink. You see the diagram will be like this. A heat engine is driving, a heat engine is driving heat pump. That's the crux of the question. So, here is a heat engine which extracts heat from a high temperature reservoir that is source temperature T1 suppose is 840 degree Celsius. 840 degree Celsius is equal to 840 plus 273 that is 1113 Kelvin. This is the source temperature for heat engine and uh, sink temperature is sink temperature heat engine rejects heat to a reservoir at 60 degree celsius so 60 degree celsius 60 degree celsius means in terms of kelvin it will be 273 plus 60 333 kelvin so a heat engine extracts heat from this temperature and in a clockwise device heat engine it is a work producing machine so let's suppose this is the q1 is the amount of heat that heat engine extracts from source and suppose this heat discharge is q2 and suppose work produced by this heat engine is w1 of course, this heat engine is working on Carnot cycle. Both heat engine and heat pump are working on reversible heat engine. Reversible heat engine. So, this engine, heat engine is a reversible one. Suppose it extracts a Q1 amount of heat from this high temperature reservoir and uh, converts some fraction of this heat input into work output. Let W1 be the work produced by the engine, heat, reversible heat engine. Out of which, suppose W2 goes to W2 goes to drive the heat pump. You know heat pump and refrigerator are work consuming devices and they require some power input. They require some work input and of course this heat engine, this, sorry this is a heat pump. Heat pump always transfers heat from low temperature reservoir to high temperature reservoir and uh, sorry, low temperature body to high temperature body. So that is here you see it extracts it from 5 degree Celsius. It extracts it from 5 degree Celsius. It extracts it from 5 degree Celsius and that is 
this is suppose q3 and these 333 kelvin or 60 degree celsius becomes the high temperature for this heat pump heat pump transfers heat from 5 degree celsius and extracts and discharges heat to the 60 degree celsius this 60 degree celsius or 333 kelvin is sink for this reversible heat engine and it is also a high temperature body for the this heat pump and this heat pump is also acting on Carnot cycle let this heat be q4 let this heat be q4 and apart from the whatever work is produced by this heat engine out of that some some work is fed to the heat pump and the rest is absorbed by another machine suppose this is w1 minus w2 and this is given according to the question is 30 kilowatt because you see here it also drives a machine that absorbs 30 kilowatt whatever work is produced by this reversible heat engine some work is some work goes to drive the heat pump and uh, the rest goes to the another machine and that rest amount is 30 kilowatt 30 kilowatt so now we have to find out the rate of heat rejection sorry beta the rate of heat supply q1 we have to find out and total q2 plus q4 we have to find out because the amount of heat discharged to the sink will be q2 by the heat engine and q4 by the heat pump and we have to add them the rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree celsius sink this one so first we have to find out q1 and q2 and q4 all these things we have to find out so to find out you see we have to find out the efficiency so that we can find out w1 we can relate w1 with q1 we know that efficiency of reversible heat engine is 1 minus sink temperature expressed in kelvin that is 333 divided by source temperature expressed in kelvin we know that efficiency of any reversible heat engine is 1 minus temperature of sink expressed in kelvin divided by temperature of source expressed in kelvin only and that is 780 divided by 1113 and we know that for any reversible be it heat engine or heat pump we know that q3 corresponding to temperature q3 divided by t3 is equal to w2 divided by this t2 minus t3 because q3 correspond q3 comes from this temperature because we know that this is also we have already discussed that for any reversible refrigerator or heat pump this relation holds good that is q3 is coming from this t3 so we can write q3 by t3 is equal to w2 divided by t2 minus t3 because we know that w2 is equal to q4 minus q3 applying the principle of energy balance or principle of first uh, applying first law of thermodynamics net energy of net energy entering into the system during a cycle is equal to net energy leaving the cycle here q3 plus w2 enters this heat pump and q4 leaves this heat pump so q4 is equal to q3 plus w2 or i can say w2 is equal to q4 minus q3 so q3 corresponds q3 comes from this t3 so q3 divided by t3 w2 will correspond to temperature difference t2 minus t3 and if q4 we have to relate then q3 by t3 is equal to q4 by t2 t2 i can i could have written but since we have to delete relate w2 so i can write like this q3 by t3 is equal to w2 divided by t2 minus t3 because this is the q3 plus w2 is equal to q4 or w2 is equal to q4 minus q3 so that q4 corresponds to t2 and q3 corresponds to t3 so that's why q in place q4 minus q3 will relate to t2 minus t3 so i can write like this q3 by t3 is equal to w2 divided by t2 minus t3 or i can write q3 by w2 is equal to t3 divided by t3 divided by t2 minus t3 
so q3 is already given in the question that is q3 is 17 kilojoule per second you see if the heat pump extracts 17 kilojoule per second from the 5 degree celsius reservoir so th this is given to be 17 so 17 kilojoule per second is kilowatt divided by w2 is equal to t3 is 278 kelvin divided by 333 minus 278 from which i can find out w2 is equal to 17 into this is 55 divided by 278 is equal to 3.363 kilowatt w2 this amount of work is consumed by the heat pump we know that according to question w1 minus w2 is equal to 30 kilowatt 30 kilowatt because whatever work is produced by the heat engine part goes to drive the heat pump and that part is 3.363 and rest goes to drive a machine which absorbs 30 kilowatt so w1 or i can write w1 minus 3.363 is equal to 30 from which w1 becomes 33.363 kilowatt 33.363 363 kilowatt and we know that efficiency of heat engine efficiency of heat engine is w1 by q1 because w1 is the amount of work produced by this heat engine and q1 is the heat input to this heat engine and uh, we know that efficiency is nothing but the ratio of work output divided by heat supplied so w1 by q1 is equal to again 1 minus since it is a reversible heat engine 1 minus sink temperature by source temperature this is 780 divided by 1113 from which i can find out w1 is again we have calculated that is 33.363 divided by q1 is equal to 780 divided by 1113 from this q1 becomes Q1, Q1 is 47.6 kilowatt. That is Q1 is the heat supply from the source to heat engine. And next bit is a rate of heat rejection to the 60 degree Celsius sink. That means we have to calculate Q2 is the rate of heat rejection by the heat engine to the sink and Q4 is the heat supplied by the heat pump to this low, high temperature reservoir that is at 60 degree Celsius. So rate of rejection agar anko nikalna hai to we have to find out Q2 plus Q4. Q2 is rejected by heat engine and Q4 is rejected by heat pump. So Q1 is 47.6 kilowatt w1 is 33.363 kilowatt so q2 will be q1 because ye heat supplied hai or q1 heat supplied ho raha hai heat engine ko aur usse w1 work produce ho raha hai to q2 is equal to q1 minus w1 and that is equal to 47.6 minus 33.363 is 14.237 kilowatt similarly q4 is q3 plus w2 q4 you see here q4 ho hai, q3 plus w2 because this cyclic process hai, and energy coming into this cyclic device is q3 plus w2 and energy coming out of this cyclic device is q4 so q3 plus w2 is equal to q4 according to first law of thermodynamics so q4 is equal to q3 plus w2 q3 is given in the question 17 kilowatt w2 already we have calculated that is 3.363 is equal to 20.363 kilowatt but we have to calculate net amount of heat rejected to the sink 
that is q2 plus q4 will be our answer q2 is the heat rejected by heat engine q4 is the heat supplied by the heat pump to the 60 degree celsius sink and this heat is also transferred to the 60 degree celsius sink this 60 degree celsius uh, reservoir becomes sink for the heat engine and high temperature for the heat pump that is q2 we have calculated 14.237 q4 is 20.363 plus 14.237 kilowatt that is 34.6 kilowatt so this is the heat rejected to the total heat rejected to the sink so next problem is 6.7 that is a refrigeration plant a refrigeration plant for food food store operates a reversed cannot you see a refrigeration plant for a food store operates as a reversed cannot heat engine cycle the store is to be maintained at a temperature of 5 degrees minus 5 degrees celsius and heat transfer from the store to the cycle is at a rate of 5 kilowatt if the heat is transferred from the cycle to the atmosphere at a temperature of 25 degrees celsius calculate the power required to drive the plant calculate the power required to drive the plant here a refrigeration plant is there and uh, uh, it transfers heat from minus 5 degrees celsius low temperature body to high temperature that is atmosphere that is 25 degrees celsius and we know that for transferring heat from low temperature body to high temperature body a refrigerator requires some work input and that we have to determine calculate the power required to drive the plant and uh, Mm, cannot heat engine of course and this is a refrigerator is a reverse a reversible refrigerator because it, it is written that it operates as a reversed cannot heat engine cycle you know we know that heat engine operates on a cannot heat engine cycle but uh, a refrigerator a reversible refrigerator operates on reversed cannot heat engine cycle so now so a refrigerator is like this you know always a refrigerator transfers heat from a low temperature to high temperature body this is high temperature body is here atmosphere which is 25 degree celsius this is 298 kelvin 273 plus 25 and low temperature body is at the store is to be maintained and this is temp uh, jo temperature maintain karna hai ye temperature minus 5 degree celsius pe maintain karna hai maintain karna hai matlab since surround temperature of surrounding is higher than this uh, temperature of minus 5 degree celsius always heat will flow from high temperature body to low temperature body so when the heat flows into this space we, the function of the refrigerator is to extract whatever it enters this due to the virtue of uh, by virtue of temperature difference then that has to heat has to be removed by the refrigerator so this is refrigerator and it operates on cannot cycle t2 is 268 kelvin because minus 5 degree celsius is temperature pe maintain karna hai so let this heat be q2 and that is given to be 5 kilowatt 5 kilowatt टोर से और साइकिल तक जो हीट फ्लो रहा है 5 किलोवाट अगर ये हीट नहीं फ्लो ट्रांसफर नहीं करेगा रेफ्रिजरेटर तो इसका टेंपरेचर बढ़ता जाएगा क्योंकि सराउंडिंग 298 केल्विन पे है और ये स्पेस जो है रेफ्रिजरेटेड जो स्टोर है फूड स्टोर वो उसका टेंपरेचर -5 है ऑब्वियसली हीट विल फ्लो फ्रॉम सराउंडिंग टू दिस बट द रेफ्रिजरेटर्स फंक्शन इज टू एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट अमाउंट ऑफ हीट व्हिच एंटर्स इनटू इट so that heat is 5 kilowatt suppose then obviously some work input will be required and of course this operation cannot cycle so this is q1 is again given q1 we have to calculate q1 we have to calculate so power required calculate the power required to drive the this what will be the power since it is uh, uh, working on reversed cannot cycle I can write like this Q1 by T1 this is according to thermodynamic temperature scale Q1 by T1 is equal to Q2 by 
टी टू क्योंकि क्यू टू इस टेम्परेचर से जा रहा है और क्यू वन इज गोइंग क्यू वन इज क्यू वन इज कमिंग टू दिस टेम्परेचर एंड क्यू टू इज गोइंग फ्रॉम दिस टेम्परेचर सो क्यू टू डिवाइडेड बाई टी टू इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन बाई टी वन दैट आई आई शुड अप्लाई सो फ्रॉम दिस क्यू वन बाई टू and t1 and t2 are to be in terms of kelvin is equal to q2 is 5 kilowatt divided by 268 so from this q1 will be 298 this much kilowatt and this is again 5.559 kilowatt so this is q1 q2 is already given in the question that is uh, transferred from the food store to the cycle here it is the cycle and uh, this it is uh, transferred from the food store to the cycle and q1 is the um, heat transferred from the cycle to the atmosphere so this it is 5.5 according to principle of uh, first according to first law of thermodynamics energy entering this uh, cyclic device is q2 plus w in and energy exiting this cyclic device is q1 so q2 plus w in is equal to q1 so w in is equal to q1 minus q2 according to first law of thermodynamics so that is q1 is 5.559 q1 is 5.559 minus q2 is q2 is 5 this much kilowatt is equal to 0.559 kilowatt this is the power required and see, this relation can only be applied in case of a reversible refrigerator or refrigerator which operates on reverse carnot cycle not for every refrigerator this particular relationship q1 by t1 is equal to q2 by t2 can be applied only for a refrigerator or a heat pump working on reverse carnot cycle or for a reversible heat engine or heat engine operating on carnot cycle this relationship can be applied the corresponding heat flow can be divided with the corresponding temperature from which either it leaves or to which it is discharged you have to divide that two ratios and that will be equal to another ratio so next question is like this a heat engine is used to drive a heat pump here again in this question a heat engine is used to drive a heat pump of course we know that to drive a heat pump we need some power and that power suppose comes from heat engine the heat transfers from the heat engine and from the heat pump you know heat ट्रांसफर भी होता है हीट इंजन से क्योंकि वट एवर हीट इज सप्लाई टू हीट इंजन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दैट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू वर्क आउटपुट एंड द रेस्ट इज डिस्चार्ज एंड सो द हीट इज रेस्ट हीट इज ट्रांसफर द हीट ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम द हीट इंजन हीट इंजन से भी कुछ हीट ट्रांसफर होता है एंड फ्रॉम द हीट पम्प हीट पम्प से ओबियसली हीट पम्प ट्रांसफर से हीट फ्रॉम लो टेम्परेचर टू हाई टेम्परेचर बॉडी सो आर यूज टू हीट द वाटर सर्कुलेटिंग थ्रू द रेडिएटर्स ऑफ ए बिल्डिंग सो बिल्डिंग जो बिल्डिंग का जो रेडिएटर है उसके उसमें अंदर जो वाटर uh, सर्कुलेशन होता है उसको दोनों की ओर से हीट आ रहा है और हीट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम हीट इंजिन दैट इज द रिजेक्टेड हीट एंड दैट अगेन द हीट सप्लाइड बाय द हीट पंप आल्सो गोज टू दिस द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द हीट इंजिन इज 27 परसेंट एंड सी ऑफ हीट पंप इज फोर सो एवेलुएट द रेशियो ऑफ द हीट ट्रांसफर टू द सर्कुलेटिंग वाटर टू द हीट ट्रांसफर टू द हीट इंजिन सो वट एवर हीट वी सप्लाई टू हीट इंजिन एंड वट एवर हीट goes to that circulating water in a radiator of building that ratio we have to determine so you see first is so suppose this is the high temperature reservoir for heat engine high temperature reservoir for heat engine heat engine is a power producing device clockwise device and suppose heat amount of heat that is coming from this high temperature reservoir is q1 and it obviously some it will be rejected q2 
to and that heat is rejected to suppose radiator of a building which is at temperature suppose T2 and whatever work is produced by this heat engine goes to drive a heat pump heat pump is there heat pump heat pump is there this work what is produced by heat engine goes to drive the refrigerator sorry heat pump and heat pump extracts heat from low temperature body t3 to this radiator whatever water circulates through this radiator of building heat comes to this circulated water in the radiator of building in both ways one is coming from this heat engine and another is from heat pump suppose this is your q3 and uh, this is q4 so so total amount of heat that is coming to this uh, circu water uh, circulating inside the radiator is q2 plus q4 and whatever work is produced by this heat engine goes on to drive the heat pump this is the work produced by heat engine and it goes to drive the heat pump and q2 is the heat coming from this heat engine the re heat rejected by the heat engine goes to the circulated water inside the radiator building and q4 is the heat supplied by heat pump to this radiator uh, water circul circulating through the radiator building so total amount of heat that is entering into this radiator building is q2 plus q4 and we have to find out the uh, in the question we have to find out q2 plus q4 q2 plus q4 divided by q1 agar i am heat engine ko, we are supplying heat only to heat engine q1 heat but what is the heat that comes to this radiator of building you know whatever net energy we are supplying is q1 only and uh, w is the work produced by heat engine and that work is used to drive the heat pump so we have to find out q2 plus q4 q2 plus q4 divided by q1 q2 plus q4 q2 plus q q2 plus q4 divided by q1 q2 the evaluate the ratio of heat transfer to the circulating water that is q2 plus q4 to the heat transfer to the heat engine heat engine ko kaun sa heat aa raha hai q1 heat is coming to the heat engine but radiator ko kaun sa heat aa raha hai q2 plus q4 that's why we have to find out q2 plus q4 divided by q1 wo ratio ko humko nikalna hai evaluate the ratio of the heat transfer to the circulating water that is q2 plus q4 q2 comes from the heat engine and q4 comes from the heat pump and to the heat transfer to the heat engine to the heat transfer to the heat engine is q1 so q2 plus q4 divided by q1 हमको निकालना है यू सी एफिशिएंसी ऑफ हीट इंजन इज गिवन 1 माइनस एफिशिएंसी ऑफ दिस हीट इंजन इज 1 माइनस q2 अपॉन q1 1 माइनस q2 डिवाइडेड बाय q1 दैट इज 0.27 यू नो एफिशिएंसी ऑफ दिस हीट इंजन इज 0.27 इट इज गिवन द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द हीट इंजन इज 27% एंड द सीओपी ऑफ हीट पंप इज फोर सी ओ पी ऑफ हीट पंप इज फोर एफिशियंसी ऑफ हीट इंजिन मतलब वन माइनस हीट रिजेक्टेड बाय हीट एडेड एनी फॉर एनी हीट इंजिन बी इट रिवर्सिबल और इिवर्सिबल डब्ल्यू नेटवर्क आउटपुट बाय हीट सप्लाइड वी कैन डिफाइन फॉर एफिशियंसी और वी कैन राइट वन माइनस हीट रिजेक्टेड बाय हीट सप्लाइड सो इन दिस केस वन माइनस क्यू टू इज द हीट रिजेक्टेड एंड क्यू वन इज द हीट एडेड फॉर दिस हीट इंजिन दैट इज वन माइनस क्यू टू बाई क्यू वन इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन from this q2 by q1 is equal to 1 minus 0.27 is equal to 0.73 0.73 then we have to q2 by q1 we got but we have to find out q4 by q1 q4 by q1 for for heat pump you see for heat pump you see cop is given for this heat pump cop is डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट बाय वर्क इनपुट हीट पंप के लिए सी ओ पी है डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट क्या है सी हीट पंप का ये तो हीट हाई टेम्परेचर बॉडी को सप्लाई कर रहा है तो Q4 फोर बाई डब्लू अगर ये रेफ्रिजरेटर होता तो इसका सी ओ पी होता Q3 थ्री बाई डब्लू डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट होता है एक्सट्रैक्ट हीट फ्रॉम लोअर टेम्परेचर बॉडी बट हीट पंप का डिजायर्ड इफेक्ट होता है टू सप्लाई हीट टू ए हाई टेम्परेचर बॉडी सो 
हीट पंप का सीओपी होगा इन दिस केस क्यू फोर बाई दिस डब्ल्यू इज वर्क इनपुट दिस वर्क दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाई हीट इंजिन इज द वर्क इनपुट फॉर दिस हीट पंप सो दैट्स वाई क्यू फोर बाई डब्ल्यू क्यू फोर बाई डब्ल्यू इज गिवेन इन द क्वेश्चन सी ओ पी ऑफ हीट पंप इज फोर सी ओ पी ऑफ हीट पंप इज फोर सो दैट मीन्स क्यू फोर बाई डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू फोर डब्ल्यू इज द वर्क इनपुट यर डब्ल्यू इज द वर्क आउटपुट ऑफ द हीट इंजिन बट दैट हीट इंजिन ड्राइव्स द हीट पंप सो दैट्स वाई दिस डब्ल्यू इज अगेन हीट इनपुट फॉर दिस हीट पंप so that's why desired effect by work input q4 by w is equal to 4 but we need q4 by q1 we don't need q4 by w so if we multiply this with w by q1 we will get the um, q4 by q1 so we know that for efficiency of efficiency of heat engine can be expressed like this w by q1 efficiency of heat engine can be work output by heat supply so w by q1 is already W by Q1, I can write 0.27, 0.27. W by Q1, since efficiency of heat engine is given to be 27 percent, then I can write the 0.27 work output by heat input. This is the work output, and this is the heat input for heat engine. W by Q1 is 0.27. If I multiply Q4 by W. multiplied by w by q1 that will be 4 into 0.27 that is 1.08 1.08 q4 by q1 is 1.08 q4 by cancels out q4 by q1 is 1.08 and q2 by q1 we have already calculated that is 0. 73 so we need to find out we need to find out q2 plus q4 by q1 that is q2 by q1 plus q4 by q1 q2 by q1 we have already calculated 0.73 plus q4 by q1 we just calculated that is 1.08 that is 1.81 1.81 1.81 is the answer so ratio of heat transfer to the circulating water that is q2 plus q4 and to the heat transfer to the heat engine agar hum 1 kilowatt heat heat engine ko supply karenge to 1.81 kilowatt of heat will go to the uh, circulating water of the radiator of the building so it will be thermodynamic advantage we are supplying 1 kilowatt and uh, getting 1.81 kilowatt so next question is like this if 20 kilojoule are added to a carnot cycle at a temperature of if 20 kilojoule are added to a carnot cycle at a temperature of 100 degree celsius and 14.6 kilojoule are ejected at 0 degree celsius determine the location of absolute zero on the celsius scale absolute zero on the celsius scale you know according to thermodynamic temperature scale thermodynamic temperature scale suppose thermodynamic temperature scale suppose this is a high temperature body which is at 100 degree celsius we you know that if a source is at t1 and sink is at t2 we have already derived this relationship if this heat engine is reversible heat engine or which is operating on carnot cycle and this heat is coming from this high temperature body is t1 and this heat is rejected heat from this reversible heat engine is t2 then q1 by q2 we have already uh, derived this is equal to function of t1 divided by function of t2 that we have already discussed in thermodynamic temperature scale q1 by q2 is equal to function of t1 only there will be no other term involving t2 only t1 term will be there in the numerator and this will be again be a function of t2 only so q1 by q2 will be a function of t1 that is phi t1 divided by phi t2 we have that we know that but what is the function we have to determine you see it is given that 
let we will assume that let phi t1 be a linear function of t1 and it be a t1 plus b and phi of t2 suppose a t2 it's simple linear function a t2 plus b so i can write q1 by q2 is equal to a t1 plus b divided by a t2 plus b because q1 t1 temperature se hai, so it will be a function of t1 and q2 t2 temperature ko ja raha hai so it uh, denominator is a function of that is uh, we have already discussed in the therm uh, in the thermodynamic temperature scale q1 by q2 is equal to function of t1 divided by function of t2 so now from the given data 20 kilojoule of heat are added to carnot cycle when temperature is 100 degree celsius so it is a into t1 is in the terms of degree celsius so a into 100 plus b and q2 is 14.6 14.6 divided by a into and when temperature is 0 degree celsius so 0 plus b from this the right hand side is 100a plus b divided by b and that is a by b multiplied by 100 plus 1 that is this a by b into 100 plus b by b is 1 so this is a by b into 100 plus 1 and this is equal to 20 upon 14.6 is equal to this from this equation 1 suppose I can get a by b a by b 3.6986 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 so we are to determine what degree celsius would correspond to absolute zero when absolute temperature is zero what would be the corresponding celsius temperature so you know in that thermodynamic temperature scale we have already discussed that when the absolute temperature is zero heat rejected will be zero so q1 by zero of course it is not possible heat rejected cannot be zero but that this can be approached as a limit q1 by zero this is for absolute zero absolute zero zero kelvin q1 divided by zero is equal to a into 100 plus b we want to find out what what degree celsius would correspond to zero kelvin that's why we want to determine this t only we don't know what is the amount of this degree celsius this degree celsius we don't know so that's why we want to determine this t obviously it will be in the minus range because zero degree celsius would zero kelvin would correspond to less temperature so a multiplied by t plus b that value of t we have to calculate from this what we obtain is q1 multiplied by a t plus b equal to zero zero into this one from this q1 cannot be zero q1 cannot be zero so that means a t plus b is equal to 0 since q1 cannot be 0 from this t is equal to minus b by a minus b by a and that is equal to minus this one is a by b a by b so b by a matlab is ka reciprocal minus 1 upon and this one is equal to minus 270.37 degree celsius minus 270.37 degree celsius so this degree celsius would correspond to 0 kelvin and the question number 10 is like this Two reversible heat engines A and B are arranged in series. 
a rejecting heat a rejecting heat directly to b engine a receives 200 kilojoule at a temperature of 421 degree celsius from a hot source while engine b is in communication with a cold sink at a temperature of 4.4 degree celsius series matlab whatever heat will be rejected by engine a will be the heat supplied to the engine b and if the work output of a is twice that of b w a is twice w b find the intermediate temperature between a and b and the efficiency of heat each engine and the heat rejected to the cold sink all these things we have to determine first one is this is the diagram of two reversible heat engines operating in series suppose engine a this is heat engine a and this extracts heat suppose q1 and the source temperature is 421 degree celsius 421 degree celsius matlab inse 273 add karenge 694 kelvin this is the source and uh, 200 kilojoule heat le raha hai 200 kilojoule and suppose the heat rejected is q2 and this heat rejected is back again become the heat supplied to engine b and let this intermediate temperature is t2 suppose t2 and this heat same heat whatever heat is rejected by this heat engine a is again supplied to heat engine b that's why there are it is written that two reversible heat engines are operating in series heat engine b and suppose this is the work produced by engine a and this is work produced by engine b and q3 b suppose heat rejected by this heat engine b to the low temperature sink which is at 4.4 degree celsius 4.4 degree celsius that is 277 273 plus 4.4 that is 277.4 kelvin so if it is given that so what are the data given q1 is equal to 200 kilojoule and w1 is equal to 2w2 w1 is equal to 2w2 so from this we can determine you know since all these heat engines are reversible i can write q1 by this temperature is equal to q2 by t2 and for reversible heat engine a i can write this relation q1 by 694 is equal to q2 by 6 q2 by t2 t2 i don't know is equal to q3 by 277.4 so q1 is given that is 200 so if i equate this one with this one i can find out q3 q3 these two values are not known so if i equate q1 by 694 q1 is 200 by 694 is equal to q3 by 277.4 from which i can find out q3 is equal to 200 into 277.4 divided by 694 that is equal to 79.942 kilojoule this is q3 and from another given data that is w1 q3 i have got 79.942 kilojoule then work produced by engine a is twice the work produced by engine b w1 is equal to 2w2 w1 is q1 minus q2 W two is Q two minus Q three. That means Q one minus Q two is equal to two into Q two minus Q three. Work produced by engine A is Q one minus Q two. Work produced by engine B is Q two minus Q three. And it is given that W one is equal to two W two. So Q one minus Q two is equal to two multiplied by Q two minus Q three. from equating this q1 minus q2 is equal to 2q2 minus 2q3 or q1 plus 2q3 is equal to 3q2 or 
q2 is equal to q1 plus 2q3 divided by 3. is equal to q1 is 200 plus 2 multiplied by 79.942 divided by 3 that is equal to 119.961 kilojoule so first bit mein humko nikalna hai intermediate temperature intermediate temperature hum kaise nikal sakte hain q1 by t1 or 694 is equal to q2 by this temperature since it is operate in according to thermodynamic temperature scale q1 by this temperature is equal to q2 by this temperature t2 so t2 humko nikalna hai q1 is 200 divided by 694 of course temperatures are to be in terms of kelvin 119.961 divided by t2 from which what I can calculate T2 is equal to 694 multiplied by 119.961 divided by 200 and that is equal to 416.266 Kelvin and in terms of Kel uh, degree Celsius 143.11 degrees minus you have to minus you have to subtract 273 from this this is the intermediate temperature this is the intermediate temperature and uh, we have to calculate the efficiency we have to calculate the efficiency of each engine you see efficiency of engine a since it is reversible 1 minus t2 divided by 694 you see efficiency of engine a 1 minus this t2 is the sink for engine a and source temperature is 694 and 1 minus t2 T2 जो अभी निकाले, T2 divided by 694 will be the efficiency of engine A. So 1 minus T2 is just 1 minus 416.416.266694. 1 minus 0.5998. That is equal to 0.40. 02 that is 40.02 percent similarly efficiency of engine b will be 1 minus sink temperature is 277.4 that is 4.4 degree celsius divided by the intermediate temperature is 416.266 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6664 is equal to 0 0.3336 33.36 percent so the heat rejected to the cold sink which is third bit mein. heat rejected to the cold sink heat rejected to the cold sink ye to q3 hai. heat rejected matlab q3 hai. q3 already you have calculated q3 is q3 has come out to be 79.942 kilojoule so that's all